I'm here with my Yaesu FT65 to talk about how you could use this to talk to the space station. It's not an ideal radio for that purpose because it does not have dual receive, but you can set it up. Uh, it's a unique challenge for this radio because you can see on the screen there is just a single frequency being shown in VFO mode. So there's a couple of things you have to do to configure it correctly in order to do that. So let's get into it. The first thing you, of course, need to know is what the frequencies are for the International Space Station. The downlink is in the UHF space, and it is 437.800, and the uplink is in the VHF space, 145.990, with a CTCSS tone of 67. So how can you do that with this particular radio? Well, the first thing you need to know is how to set this into what is known as the dual display mode. And we're going to do that by turning the radio off and accessing a menu that you do not see in the normal menu system. Normally when you have the radio on, you push the function button here and hold it down and you get into a list here of the various functions you can configure while the radio is on. Uh, and you can push the push to talk in order to go back to your VFO without doing any transmitting. So we're going to turn the radio off. We're going to hold the squelch button plus the push to talk. And I'm going to have to hold it in a little bit of a funny way because of the camera and everything else I have going here. But you must hold both at the same time. Turn the radio on and then you release those buttons and you're presented with a different menu system. Uh, there's a lot of options for resetting or cloning along with this item here, which is dual display. And we'll select it by pushing the function button. It causes the radio to reboot in a slightly different mode. Notice that we have two lines with two different frequencies on display, and we can manipulate them with the V slash M button, which we normally use for uh, entering a memory or selecting a different uh, memory bank, that kind of stuff. In this instance, we're going to push it twice. And that, notice that the A and B reversed positions. Um, and that's part of the process for uh, manipulating while setting up for the space station and for potentially talking to it. So the first thing you need to know is that the frequency shown on top can be manipulated with a keypad. The one on the bottom cannot well is in the second position. So we would want to put our listening frequency on top. That's going to be our main, and that's going to be the 437-800. And then we would want to set our secondary frequency, the up link, or the up frequency. And we're going to single tap. Uh, you don't want to hold that too long or you will trigger it into recording a memory mode. So just kind of a brief touch there causes the B to go to the top side. And then we would type in or use the keypad to enter 145990. And we're a long way towards configuring that. Now the other aspect of this for the space stations, we must have the CTCSS tone of 67. So we'd want to configure that while we are here uh, looking at the B channel. So we're going to go to our menu by holding down that function button. And we're going to go up to item number 29. And we're going to select uh, squatch type. And we're going to do transmit tone. And that is indicated by the T dash tone. We do a tap on the function button to return to the main menu. And then from there, the push to talk will return us without transmission to the uh, VFO screen. Um, we can tell with the TTN there that a tone is being applied. And then we must make sure the correct tone as you know, there are lots of different tones that can be applied. So then we are going to go up to item number eight. And I've already been working on this and so notice that the tone says 67, so it is correct. By default, this radio should show you 
de the default tone of 100 on both transmit and receive. So you'll want to change that by pushing the function key and that will allow you to either turn it off or go all the way, cycle all the way through the different tones that are possible. And we are going to stay with 67. So this, the radio is currently generally configured to be able to interact with the space station. However, if we push the push to talk, which we're going to do for demonstration purposes here, it's actually transmitting on 437.800 and that is the receive frequency, which is not going to be the result that we want. There's another setting in the mini that we have to configure in order for this to work correctly. So we're gonna go back and we're gonna go down to item number 34. And notice it says VFO.SPL, that is VFO split. We're going to, it is off by default and we're going to turn that on. We go back to the men menu, and again, we'll be transmitting here, but we will not be actually reaching the space station. We're going to be transmitting here for demonstration purposes in a place where it would not be able to be heard. Uh, and notice what happens when I do that. So now B frequency takes over the main position and is we would now be transmitting on that frequency instead of the, the download frequency. And when you re release, it pops back into listen mode. So it's pretty slick, and uh, it just takes a few steps to configure that. I hope you'll find this useful, and you'll leave me a like, and you'll come back for a future video. Talk to you later.